One of the most disheartening consults I get is the following. A 64-year-old gentleman comes in to see me. He's been in atrial fibrillation by his reckoning at least four to five years. We're not exactly sure. Yeah, he has some symptoms. He's been a little fatigued and he's getting a little worse, right? Okay. His wife tells me, by the way, you know, he's not remembering as much. And he says, you know, Dr. Stowski, the reason I'm coming to see you is I know you guys have a big ablation center. I need to be ablated. Okay. <laughs> so then you say, you've had four plus years of constant atrial fib. I know right away what I'm going to get into. I can bet money his left atrium is dilated and fibrosed, which is going to make any ablation much, much harder to do. And then you go get your studies. You get an, either an MRI or you get echoes and it confirms everything. And then you just have to be honest with the patient and say, look, I'll do it because drugs almost surely won't work. But you need to know a single procedure success rate is low. If somebody told you it was 60%, Either they were drinking something they shouldn't have been drinking, uh, or they're just trying to build business, but they're not telling the truth, okay? You don't get a 60% one procedure success with somebody who's been an AFib for four plus years and has a huge left atrium. So prevention is the issue. Do not let somebody stay in AFib four years. If they don't want sinus rhythm and you've had that discussion four years ago, fine. I think they made a decision. This is why every patient who has AFib needs to see some specialist early on to figure out what their options are now and in the future. Atrial fib is a lifelong disease for most people, okay? Uh, and therefore, decisions made today will affect your life for decades sometimes to come. So try to avoid that situation. Uh, we're happy to try the ablation if you go into it eyes open realizing that we have a likelihood of success that's low. Uh, some patients will say anyway, that's fine. That, okay, as long as we've been honest with the patient, we'll do it. But once the patient realizes what they're up against, sometimes they just say, you know what, forget about it. But you don't want that to have to happen. That could have all been avoidable if the patient had this discussion four years ago.